Hi guys, Gareth here and welcome back to the Manchester United Football Manager uh, series and as you can see today we have our second match uh, of this well, series versus Shakhtar, it's our second time playing them obviously in the, um, what do you call it, in the Champions League uh, playoffs. Um, first leg we won away 4-0, uh, just to catch you up on what's been going on this season, we started off against Swansea away from home, drew 1-1, um, it's actually been a while since I've played this, uh, actually quite a while. A good few weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if it's about a month. To be honest, I think it is about a month. Um, so yeah, it's been a while. So I'm just getting myself back up to scratch. I remember this game very well because we didn't deserve really anything out of it. We managed to get a draw thanks to James Milner with a tap in. It's four 0 I remember Van Persie. Yet yeah, had a very very good game. Um, you know he may be 33, but he's still got it, and he's my main striker after that game. Um, only nine strength, which is a bit disappointing to have up when you've got one man up front. And as you can see, by the way, I do have different badges and different player photos um, and I actually have the national team logos which I prefer actually um, having them. I didn't think I would but I do prefer it actually and uh, I've got it and uh, Shakiri also scored and then we had Fulham um, which we won for and we just dominated the match so um, yeah uh, let's go into the match here we go um, team lineup today we did win the first uh, leg away 4-0, so we've got four away goals start, to start off with, uh, but we've also just got a 4-0 lead in general, and we're also at home, so I thought I'd stick my backup team out for this, so De Gea in goal is my first team keeper, and will be for this season, but, um, you know, I don't really have another keeper to put in there for this tournament, uh, for this competition, I should say, tournament is technically a tournament, but I prefer to say competition. I'm aware I didn't give Mike Richards enough chances at right back when I was at um, Tottenham, that's a brilliant picture of him, he just looks like an absolute beast like he is, in, for me he's England's best right back in real life, um, but yeah, centre backs are Manga, uh, really 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 powerful uh, centre back, really happy that uh, he was signed by whoever was uh, Jose Mourinho, who's here before me, uh, Johnny Evans obviously a long time Manchester United player, definitely looking to keep him, because he's just one of those players who's been here for a long time, Gar Gareth Barnard, a uh, 19 year old looking already amazing, um, he's definitely going to be England's number one left back in the future and he'll definitely be Manchester United's as well, um, Kevin, is it Kevin? Yeah, Kevin Stroopman as well um, yeah, again a good player uh, not too much to say on him United have been linked to him in real life but I believe he's going to Roma to replace De Rossi and De Rossi could be going to Chelsea, that's the rumour I've been hearing uh, Milner's had a good start to the season and I'm sticking him in there again uh, Shaqiri, um, on the right wing side from Tottenham recently, I'm not going to do any more um, Kagwa Ashley a Kaggle on the left, I'm actually going to go into Eric Torres' stats, as of course some of you will be interested to see how he's doing. Um, I didn't sign him, but obviously he's been in one of the kids for about five years now in football manager. For as long as I can remember, um, he's been you know, a one of the kid, and he's, he is again in this game. Um, he's been at United for a season already, he didn't really get many chances in the last, last, time, uh, last season with Mourinho. Um, so I'm looking to give him a few chances and Ben take it up front. Um, so quite a long introduction, but I, I just want to get myself caught up to it, if anything. Um, let's go Mike Freeland. Mike Freeland's still the assistant manager, by the way, here at Manchester United. Um, so that's all very well nice. Um, yeah, let's, let's get into the match, I guess. I think we can win with our backup team. I, I don't think it'll be an easy win. Not as easy as the away one. Benteke there, tackle, um, good slide tackle apparently from a uh, defender, um, it's always a good slide tackle in the box, so um, yeah, Shakiri whips it in, Manga, oh, and it's just gone over the bar from the header, uh, unfortunate that one there, really really unfortunate, but um, yeah, let's continue on, Milner there, Evans, Barnard, we're on, we're on top, which is what I'm, I'm liking to see, you know, um, the one thing I don't want from this match is just a boring nil nil game. I don't want that. You know, I wouldn't mind even the, like a three two four three loss, but it, it, just because it'd be inter you know at least be entertaining for you guys to watch. Um, but I don't want like a nil nil. Uh, I want a few goals in this game. We've, we're pretty much already through to the next round. Um, we just want to we just want to entertain you in this game, really. William Barnard, Milner. I uh, know my laptop's starting to scream at me. I don't know whether you can hear that on there. I do plan to get a mic as soon as possible. It's just there are some other stuff that I uh, do well need to spend my money on more. Unfortunately, um, I'm hopefully getting a job over the summer. That's a great goal from Shakira. Like I said, I'm hopefully getting a job over the summer. Um, I currently don't have one, but that's because I'm at college. Um, but yeah, so I can get a summer job. Maybe continue on to next year. 
just so I can, you know, get get some real equipment. Um, and you know, just get some stuff for myself as well, whatever. Um, buy buy more games to show you guys, whatever it is. Um, that I want to spend my money on. Really, I don't really have anything to spend it on, but I want money to be able to spend. Uh, if you know what I mean, or or just to save up. You know, I plan on going to uni, so Wellington, um, Rodin. Oh, that's a nice little cutback, and Barnard hasn't managed to clear it, and Williams sticks into the back of the net. Go for Shakhtar. Volodin, this is a really nice little cutback. It was going out, but we've just managed to get there. Barnard uh, missed the ball, and William just sticks it into the back of the net. Good goal from their point of view, I think. A uh, nice little battling goal, um, at least, if if not a great finish. Um, but it was still a good finish. Tight angle. Um, so, yeah. Um, Barnard's really not... I don't know, it's not really working out working out here at United. Um he seems to be good with England. Um he seems to fit my my England team quite well. Or like, at least I liked him. He wasn't, you know, amazing, but he seems to do it quite well. Uh but if United he's had some dodgy performances. I guess it's all about, you know, getting that experience. But um so far he hasn't been doing it. Wow, what a shot and Benteke puts it into the back of that, but it is offside. What a shot that was from Shakira, you know. When I was at Tottenham, uh, he wasn't really impressing me with his long shots, but uh, today he's done well. He's done well today, in all fairness. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm happy. Volodin. Wow, they're 2-1 up. This is certainly strange. Volodin seems a good player. William and him uh, linking up well together. I'm actually just going to skip that. This is what I hate about Windows 8. You know, you put your mouse at the side, which is normally what I do, and then it comes up with that thing. Um, and I'm not too bothered, but... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say we've got yeah, because we've got a lead. Um, if they score three goals and they're going through, I can't honestly, I honestly can't see that happening. At least not without us scoring another one. So um, yeah, let's continue on if it were to go. There we go. This is a new laptop, but unfortunately we do have the same problems. There we go. It's in now. Um, I wonder, you know, whether I'd be. In this situation, if I'd stayed at Tottenham, you know, um, Luton Shakhtar. <laughs> um, but you know, it's all about a new challenge. Uh, United haven't been, you know, well, United, oh, great take and goal from Ben Teke. Fantastic little touchdown and smacks into the back of that. First ever goal for Man U. Uh, Man United haven't been Man United as of recent times in the game. Um, I, I believe this, yeah, this is the fifth season now and they. Have they even won a trophy? I'm not 100% sure if they've even won a trophy. They certainly haven't won the Premier League and they pretty much 100% they haven't won the Champions League. I know City won the Champions League, but United haven't. It's been top in domination, to be honest, thanks to me, really, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's. I'd like to get Man United back to where they used to be, you know, with the uh, days of Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, yeah, I, can't, I don't even think they've won a trophy all this time, so... Um, let me know if that's wrong. They might have won a. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they did win a Community Shield because I lost to Chelsea. And that's the only one I remember losing. Um, did they win a Cup or Cup? I really can't remember to be honest. If they've won anything, um, Shakiri, that's a goal. Benteke and Shakiri have had. You know, the two that I was, you know, slightly, you know, not 100% on whether they would be good. Um, to be honest, you know, Benteke. He's been doing well at Ham was it Hamburg I signed him from? Some German club anyway. Um he had a really good season, he look he has some good stats, but um, I wasn't hundred percent sure on his his early performances haven't been too great, but today he's been fantastic and the same as Shakiri at Tottenham, you know, it wasn't too we, he wasn't too great, but um he's been very, very good here and he's linked up with um Benteke very, very well. So I'm very happy with those two. They've scored all three goals between them. Um can anyone else pop up with one? Maybe Milner can get one. Really good player and football manager. I definitely recommend getting Milner. Um, the f he's 30 now. You know, with five seasons in, he's 30, 31, something like that. And he's still, you know, just a fantastic squad player. And if you're with manager with England, definitely get him in every squad because um, he is a very, very solid player. And uh, I'm learning to realise that now with, uh, well, using him in England more and also, you know, in United. Um, you know, I'm, I'm beginning to realise Milner's actually a very good player. Uh, so yeah, that, he's someone I definitely recommend. Um, kind of like an unsung hero, kind of like Sandro, but not to the same level. Sandro, yes, Sandro is just fantastic. I definitely look at. I'm looking at getting him, but I do want to go back to Tottenham at some point, possibly. 
Um, it all depends whether the opportunity comes. But I don't want to sign too many players from Tottenham because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to stop. I don't want to take over. I don't. First of all, I don't want to sign the same players. But you know, I don't want to stop them being the best team by just signing their players. I want to sign different players, get different players in. That's why I signed players like Ben Teke. Um, that's why I brought him in, and players like David Luiz as well. Uh, players I haven't used before. But let's get Fletcher on. I'm also going to get David Luiz on at left back because Barna is looking a bit tired. I'm also going to get Ramirez on, and I'm actually going to stick him in the Cagua, um, just because I want to. I want to get Ramirez on again. Um, hopefully it does well. I think Eric Torres is having a decent game. Uh, I can't bring off Shakiri or Benteke because I don't want to, to be honest. Um, but we're winning so far. Um, happy with that. William. Jean Maria. Puts it wide. Happy with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> there the substitute. They've been made. We've got about probably got about 20 minutes left in this game, Benteke wins the header but it goes straight to Wellington and them. Um, a player that I can't decide on Wellington and them whether I like him. Um, I signed him for clubs like Wigan, um, when it were well, winning at his 3.5 release calls. I signed him on, on a Wigan save and he was good but um, is that but just because he was at Wigan, you know, um, much better than all the other players? Or is he actually a really good player? I don't know. Um, but no, I was surprised, you know, I was actually able to get a player of his quality. Um, but I guess it's probably because he plays in not such a huge Brazilian team. Um, so it's quite easy to, you know, similar reputation. Uh, also, it was my second season. I have won the Capital One Cup uh, beforehand. Uh, but yeah, doing so the last five minutes now. Evans. Jean Maria, Butko, David Luiz makes a tackle there. I'm happy with the signing of David Luiz. I, you know, I don't know how exactly how he is in football manager. I uh, don't know how good he is, but I, I think he's going to be a good signing. He's got some good stats. He's rated quite highly um, in the reports, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy about bringing David Luiz in. He, at the moment, he is in my starting eleven. Um, not for today. Evans gets a goal there. Not for today, but um, on my, for my best starting eleven, I believe he's in there. Uh, Ramirez sets up that, that goal from the corner. Evans takes a touch and smacks it into the back of the net. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. Uh, that is going to end the game about there. Uh, Milner's going to whip this one in. Butchko heads it away and that's it. Final whistle has been sounded. We win 4-2. We are in the Champions League group stages. So we'll see exactly what group we get. I'm just going to say a good win uh, to them. Um, oh my god, how, how many goals have he scored? Holy crap. Um, is that New Zealand, I believe? Or oh, Slovenia? I saw the N and Z, so I just assumed New Zealand. Gary Hooper's also got 8 goals in the Champions League. But yeah, we absolutely dominated the match and we deserved the win in all fairness. Um, at the end of the day, we're still trying to get rid of Rodriguez and Hoylet. Um, hopefully they can... We'll get some bids in for them very, very soon. Uh, let's see exactly what happens here. Fenerbahce uh, lost 4-1, but still went through. That is uh, that is lucky. Leverkusen beat uh, Legia. Napoli knocked out Sporting Lisbon. I'm happy to see Sporting Lisbon gone out, because they tend to do well in competitions. And Marseille have been knocked out by Malaga. So uh, Marseille, who again, uh, were they in the Champions League final last time I was with Tottenham? I believe they were. Um, so I'm happy to see that they're gone as well. But Napoli, um, with Laurenti and Bertang looking quite a difficult, dangerous team. But I remember I sold them. Um, Laurenti got them for free and sold them for 15 minutes. I was pretty happy with that, to be honest, considering he's not the youngest. Um, but looking at how he's done there, uh, 11 and 17, 20 and 36, and 16 and 36. That's not, not a bad uh, two and a half seasons there from him. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna end the episode here because we've done a match now. And but I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. It does help me out a huge amount. Um, in spot it you know motivates me to do more of these. And just in general, um, it only takes a second, so please do it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and tell me what you think about my chances for this season. You've seen a few games now. 
where do you think I'll finish in the league and will I win the Champions League? Thanks. Bye.